Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Today I am bringing you a review on a brand new concealer from Makeup Forever. It's the Makeup Forever HD Skin Concealer. I've got the shade 1.4Y and I was really excited to pick this up. I am a big fan of Makeup Forever's complexion products, so I had to grab this one and test it out for you all. So let's first jump into the claims of this product, the price point, and then we'll talk about whether or not it's worth it and does it work for your dark under eye circles. So I've got the claims pulled up here on Makeup Forever's website. This product is available on their site as well as Sephora for $29 and it claims to be a blurring and smoothing product. It says, as complexion experts, we created a formula that blurs it all. No more fine lines, no more imperfections, just natural looking skin. HD Skin Concealer has a feather light gel cream texture with seamless buildable coverage that you can build and blend as you wish. It's ideal for all skin types and available in 20 inclusive shades. It also claims to be color correcting. It says here it's an innovative formula to provide natural real skin with soft focus powders to blur and coat and to blur and coated pigments to color correct the under eye seamlessly without caking or creasing all day long. It also claims to be hydrating. It's composed of jojoba oil to hydrate skin, hyaluronic acid, and snow mushroom to contribute to plumping and smoothing. So let's talk about the actual components of the product. It is in a standard concealer tube. I do really like one thing about Makeup Forever's products. When you buy a powder, a foundation, a complexion product of any type from Makeup Forever, they make the entire component match the shade that you are purchasing. That is such an aesthetic thing to me. It may not matter to you. I really, really like it. I think it's really fun. If you are a makeup artist, I also think it can be useful because as you're seeing those tops of the products in your kit, it's a little bit easier to navigate what you're looking for. So I've got shade 1.4Y. Let's look at the component here. It is a doe foot. It is a thinner doe foot, if you can see that there. And pretty typical packaging. You, it's not a giant doe foot. It's something that is really flexible when you use it. So that's nice as well. Moving on to that shade, as I stated, I've got 1.4 Y. Now I am in Makeup Forever's foundation, actually um, the shade that's supposed to be matched to shade two of this concealer. However, I personally find that Makeup Forever's products tend to run a bit dark. Um, especially these concealers, I feel having looked at the shades, they're, they're running a bit dark compared to your Estee Lauder Double Wear or some other foundations that you might use in your rotation. So for me, I like a brighter under eye. I don't like my under eye to be the same as my uh, foundation shade. So I went with 1.4 Y and I think it's a good shade match for Just me. Just to compare some shades that I do use in other formulations, in the Huda Beauty Concealer, I wear 2.7 N Coconut Flakes and we'll just kind of hold those bottles up to each other. You can see pretty similar in tone. And then in the Natasha Denona concealer, the new one, I wear shade P2, and I'll hold those up for you as well. Fairly similar, Natasha is a lot more peachy, but it is labeled as a peach shade. And then in the Hourglass concealer, I wear the shade Silk, and these are a pretty good match. For I personally find that this 1.4Y is a great fit. It is a neutral shade. It's listed online as beige for light skin tones with neutral to golden undertones, and that is definitely a good uh, description of what my skin tone is. You can see on my hand, really not much oxidization. You can see it's a little bit wet still here and dry at the top. I don't notice any color changing with this, and I really think Makeup Forever's products tend to do a great job of that. I don't notice a lot of oxidization with their product. Makeup Forever does claim this to be a medium coverage concealer, and I would say it's probably a true medium. I don't find this medium verging on full, and some days it can seem to be more of a light coverage for me. I think your wear on this product is gonna vary depending on what your dark circles are like. Say this is not one I would reach for when I'm really, really tired unless I'm going with a no makeup makeup look. And that's where I can find this product to be really valuable in your kit. If you are someone that really likes a no makeup makeup look, or maybe as we're getting into back to school season, you're thinking about that car pickup and drop off line. 
in the morning, you know, you might not have time to do much to yourself, but you can probably throw a little bit of concealer on if that's something you want to do. And this would be a great product for that because it's quick, it's easy, it blends really effortlessly, and it feels comfortable on the skin and gives a more brightened awake look without being obvious that it's makeup. I think if you pair this with a color corrector and some setting powder, even still, it doesn't look overly makeup-y. And I think it does enough coverage to just give you a little boost under the under eyes. Now for me, as someone that I typically wear a medium to full coverage foundation, I like my under eyes to match that coverage level and I have a fair amount to mask under here. This is not something I will gravitate towards all the time. It will be for those no makeup makeup day looks or a day that I know my under eye circles are not just jumping out at people. <laughs> so today I do have the product on and you can even see on camera you can definitely see some blues and purples still popping through. As far as the blurring and smoothing claims, I do think it leaves a smooth effect on the under eye. I think you can tell that the formula has powders in it because it is fairly fast drying. It's very blendable. It doesn't dry overly fast where you can't get your sponge or your brush around quick enough but it is fairly fast drying and fairly self setting. I do think it's really blendable. I think it does give a soft focus effect to the eye and it feels really hydrating. I did pair it with the e.l.f. color corrector. I am someone that I do not not wear a color corrector, especially these days. I just think it's necessary. And especially if you're talking about a lighter coverage product like this, it needs a helping product. It needs a color corrector and a setting powder. Now I will say this reminds me of their self setting formula in that I don't think you have to set this and it does retain some hydration. I think it's really comfortable on the under eye and I think that the under eyes don't feel or look dry. So if you really wanted to set it, you could, but if you didn't want to, or you maybe have a drier under eye, I think it can hold its own without too much creasing. Um, you know, standard creasing is to be expected with any concealer. I don't think there's such a thing as a creaseless concealer because we all have under eye wrinkles. Even if we are young, we have a little bit of wrinkling under the so under eye. So overall, this is one that I am glad to have in my collection because it will be great for those no makeup makeup days. It will be great for days when I just want something that's comfortable, something that feels good. This is that product because of that gel cream texture and just how easy and blendable it is. However, this is not one I'm going to reach for when I'm super tired or when I feel like I want just a nice, reliable, even coverage look all over. Let me know down below if you've picked up this product or if you're going to. Please subscribe and like this video if you want some more beauty content. Have a great day.